Hi everyone, Michelle J. Raymond, and I'm super excited that you've joined me because I have a new feature. It was only just last week that I did the Q1 2022 LinkedIn company pages update. So if you missed that, I'll put the links down in the comments because we are getting so many new features rolled out to make pages more effective, to make it easier to manage the pages and the communities. One of the things that's always been really annoying for me is that I've had to use a plugin or a workaround to comment as my company page. Guess what? That's the new feature that I'm talking about today. I put in a wish some time back to the pages team because I get to work with them on projects and testings as part of my position as a member of the Small Business Advisory Council. I said to them, I would really love it if this would happen. And well, I had no idea it was going to happen, but it looks like my Christmas wish has come early. So shout out to the Pages team for making Pages far more effective and for rolling out so many new features so quickly. What does the feature mean exactly? Currently, to be able to comment as a company page, you have to go back and you have to either have one of the hashtags that your company page follows. You have to be tagged in a post. You can use the Google Chrome plugin, which I've been using and it's been fabulous or you can do John Asperian's workaround, which he kindly shared with the community if you don't like the plugin option. So all of those things are a bit convoluted. They take time and it's time that page admins don't have. I feel your pain. Why would we want this? Because it makes life easier. What does it look like exactly? I'm gonna shoot over here and show you. If we have a look at this screen, how are you gonna tell whether you have it? First stop is you're gonna go next to the row that's got like and comment and share and send. And see here, see my little face? That's what you're going to see as an option to let you know whether you've got this feature. How I came across this, see just underneath, it says try commenting or reacting. So you can actually use the like emojis as well. Then you can actually react as your page. Now pages can get involved. And I can hear people right now just going, Michelle, no, we don't want spam. People want to do business with people. Like, I roll. I, I can't deal with that anymore. What we want is company brands, driving personal brands, driving thought leadership, driving original, authentic, highly valuable content. Pages have a place to do that on the platform as well. It is, after all, the number one B2B platform for marketers because we know the audience is there. So it makes sense that we get better at this, people. We don't avoid it. We get better at it. This is where I learned about it. If you have that option, you also have options to be able to comment or like as your company page. Good news, if you manage multiple pages, no problem. You handle it all within here. Like, honestly, I am so excited and I'll be sh certainly sharing that with the pages team. The drop down box shows you all the pages that you've got. For instance, I want to comment as Good Trading Co in this particular example. And all it does is it swaps it over and then I just start commenting. Now that is so easy, right? So easy. Now what happens when things are easy, people? This is what happens. We get the people that come on there that will abuse it and they will spam so many places because it's so easy. Now I'm going to be doing my best to educate as many people as I can. I want you to stop and think. Is commenting on this particular post or liking, is it adding value or is it adding spam? And spam is spam no matter where it comes from. So if it's a competitor, if it's uh, someone else within your industry, take a look and see is it really appropriate for your business to be commenting on somebody else's business's post. Now, in some cases, it might actually be. In that case, it's fine. But I want stop, think before we go out there and just go crazy. One of the things that I haven't tested as yet, which I will be adding into the comments, is just to make sure that if I comment, what happens if somebody responds to this, do I get notified? Historically, that hasn't been the case, and that's my concern. Imagine you go out, you comment on 50 posts because you thought that that was a great idea, you raise your brand awareness, you've been really considerate, and you've sparked someone's interest. And then from that interest, they respond to your comment, but you don't get notified. You don't respond. What happens? You look rude and you are going to damage and break that trust, that trust factor that's so important, you're going to break that. From that perspective, I'm just going to be erring on the side of caution is the right words that I want to use and encourage other people to do the same thing.
Now, one of the other ways, so the home feed is one option that you've got. What's the other options? You can actually just go to the person's profile, go and have a look at any of their posts. So you could be a lot more targeted around the way that you would use this. My idea is go back, have a look at your strategy for your company page. What is it that you're setting out to do? Who are your ideal clients? Who are you trying to target? Where does it make sense for you to invest your time and your knowledge to add to conversations? Once you've got that, go out and use this new feature. I would love to know what you think of it. Have you tried it? Any bugs that you might find so we can get those fixed? This is one of those features that I think is bang on the money for what we need, what we want, and that will actually make page administrators super happy just like I am. So thanks so much for your time and stay up to date by following the Good Trading Co. company page on LinkedIn for all of the latest updates, tips, and strategies that we can help you with. Cheers.